In the fall of 2012, there was a fire at Stellar Gardens, causing one of the houses to burn down. The fire left a lot of trash and toxins in the soil at that site. While the family was able to rebuild on another site, it left that site open to a new family moving in and taking on a unique opportunity to heal the land. That new family was Constance and I, and we had an idea. Instead of throwing the trash in the dump and getting it off of our land, how about leaving it on the land and healing it Maybe inspiring others in parts of the world that truly need this to do the same. We collected the biggest chunks and put them to the side in hopes of recycling or reusing them. And then we got to work on the soil we hoped we could heal. Just got instant fertile life community in there, eating it up. And this is actually the beginnings of a swale, and a, actually a berm. And then we're going to dig this out and pour the, put the dirt on top. After I put some logs down, which we'll do in a minute, we got a Hugo Culture Swale Bioremediation Project. Taking these timbers from this burnt down house, of course all the glass and trash and all that toxic stuff is under here. It's going to be bioremediated eventually by mushrooms and plants and the whole ecosystem that's going to break it down through this hugel culture mound. We're mixing in there some um, natural wood that's been sitting here rotting out for a while in this big pile and there's like nice bugs eating it away and mushrooms growing in it. and all that's going to go right next to this toxic wood and on top of the other soil that was toxic. And, you know, of course we put the grass as mulch underneath it to add some organic matter. So this is basically the process of a hugel culture mound. And the idea is to um, put the dirt from the swale into the sperm on top. And then we really, once we mix in some organic compost, Really, the idea of hugel culture is not to have to deal with it for up to like 20 years. Of course, every year you might be putting on some organic matter on top, just layering it. But we'll be able to garden on this. And our hope is that the toxicity of the soil, it should be getting better and better. We should be able to eat off of it. That's the hope. We're going to be uh, planting plants in it, of course, too. So trees and um, flowers and shrubs and um, herbs, the best for bioremediation. Have a nice new home in the Hugo culture mound. Swale, berm, berm, swale, berm, swale, yeah, berm. Mm -hmm.